Hey guys, Callum here, and today I've got a really cool seed for Minecraft Bedrock Edition to show you guys. Now the seed you guys are going to need is this one here, so quickly pause the video and write this one down or check the video description. Now I actually got this seed from a Pata HD video. He was showing a concept of the swamp biome kind of update, and uh, it was super cool, and the world he generated was just absolutely insane, and uh, I thought I'd show you guys just what it's all about. So if you guys are new to my channel, then be sure to subscribe and hit the notification icon. That way you'll be notified when I next make a video upload. All right, guys, so this seed is insane. He said he was the uh, master at generating seeds. And to be honest with you, I don't think he knows just how good this seed actually was. So let's go and have a look. So you'll spawn here. Immediately, you guys can see around you've got some fairly nice areas. Uh, you've got a village over this way, actually, um, which is pretty cool. You've got one over here as well, if you guys can just about see the top of the kind of castle building. Let's have a flyover and see what we can see in this village. I haven't actually explored this one, so I'm not sure if there's a blacksmith or not, but I'm sure we're gonna uh, gonna find out in just a moment. So what have we got? Like I said, this isn't too far from spawn, but like I said, you spawn in the middle of so many villages. Uh, there's diamonds down below as well, so there's so much to go for. Um, okay, so this is just a little mini village here, you guys can see, uh, which would be pretty cool. You can actually extend this out this way a little bit and, uh, and make it into a, uh, a thriving village for you guys there. Um, so if we fly back over this way now, you can see some extreme hills as well, uh, which is next to the... Uh, to the next village, uh, there's actually a sand temple here as well, which I didn't see before, which actually blends in really well with the surrounding area, so very, very nice indeed, that's a super, super cool find, uh, being so close to all of these villages as well. So this one here is actually a bigger village as well, which is always good. And this area here looks absolutely insane. You've got this waterfall uh, dropping into this kind of really nice pool looking area, this uh, kind of lake, and uh, a super nice flat area here as well for you guys to get some good builds going. Again, there's another couple of villages over there you guys can see. Um, it's literally just swamped with villages. Um, there are just tons going around. Like I said, we've got another village just over this way, which is on top of the hills. Again, got some flat land next to a waterfall. So if you guys are into that scenic sort of area, this is going to be the seed for you. Um, and if we go over this way a little bit, there is another village. I'm not sure how many that is in total now, but I know that's a lot of villages. So let's go and have a look at this one. And I'll show you guys another really, really cool feature of this seed. Um, it could be next to the village over there. I think it is. Uh, but anyway, let me show you this village real quick, guys. You can see it kind of glitches out a little bit. It kind of goes to the uh, plains biome as well. Um, but again, it still looks really cool. Um, so if we fly over to the next village, I hope you guys are keeping track of how many villages we've seen because there is a lot. This is a very, very good seed. Um, so if we fly over this way a little bit, there we go, there's got another village. And you guys will also see there's a bit of a lake here. Now the interesting thing about this lake is there is a huge waterfall that this creates, which we're going to try and jump down. What I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to get some night vision potions just so we can see in the dark that much easier so we're going to drink one of those real quick there we go looks good so everything's a lot brighter but you guys can see there you've got the huge waterfall that goes all the way to the bottom of this ravine and i know what's on your guys' mind it's on mine too so let's jump down and see what layer we can get to as you can see this does take us into diamond territory as well so very very nice indeed you guys can uh, can search this area and find some really cool looking diamonds. Um, I did find some earlier, so I'm going to quickly see if I can see some more. There we go. We got one, two, two diamonds at least. Let's have a look if there's any more. There's three there. There's four. Okay, there's a lot of diamonds here, guys. There's five. I think that's a stack of five diamonds. Uh, kind of a vein of five diamonds. That's very nice indeed. That wasn't the ones I found earlier, but still, that just makes things that much better you guys can get some immediately free diamonds and i say free it's super easy to get to you don't even need to take a bucket of water with you this time i'm not sure what just jumped down there but there was something that jumped and it didn't like the landing um, but yeah you guys don't even need a bucket of water you can literally take the waterfall in and out it kind of use it as an elevator you can guys can uh, can swim up there but let me go down and see if we can find some more of this good diamond stuff so i think it was kind of over this way a little bit no it's not past the um I think go past the lava that way. I think it may be over here. Let's break some blocks. Um, I do have the coordinates, so I'm trying to find the um, trying to find the uh, follow the coordinates here, but I'm not having a, a good time. Again, there's nothing in this kind of lava pit here. Um, I tell you what, we're going to do. We're going to go directly for the coordinates and uh, and work our way out, uh, work our way out from there, guys. So let's keep going over this way. The coordinates are 2057. I found. 
Uh, so this one and then 340. So we need to go this way a little bit and you guys will uh, see the diamonds will, uh, will appear straight in front of us in... Uh, oh, okay. They may appear in front of us, but I just kind of uh, ruined that with a load of... Uh, a load of gravel that fell there, so be careful for that. There is a trap there. But you guys can see we've got some more diamonds here as well. And if you guys do manage to find any more than I do, that's actually a really dangerous place to keep these diamonds. But if you guys manage to find any more than me, let me know in the comments section where you found them with the coordinates or something. That'd be super, super cool. But anyway, guys, a very, very nice seed. Like I said, this one comes courtesy of Pata HD. So shout out to him. Definitely go and check his channel out. He does some super cool videos. The production quality on his videos is insane. So definitely go ahead and check that out, guys. And I hope you guys use this seed. Like I said, it's definitely one you should be using. It's a super, super cool one. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to drop a like. It does always help me out. And guys, I will see you next time.